Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. I'm Carl Lewis, your host for today. Coming to you from uh, chilly, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, Portland, Oregon today. So much uh, black ice on the road, I had to turn around and come back home so that I wouldn't miss my time with you today. So today our topic is going to be uh, a first in a series of new features in SAP Business One version 9.2. And one that intrigues me uh, is enhanced ownership capabilities. And I'll be trying to demonstrate that to you. Now, one of the things that's frustrating to me right at the moment is that the, the, the uh, version is in very early release and there's not a lot of documentation. So sometimes getting your head around exactly how these new features work is a bit of a slippery slope. So, but I think I have this one somewhat figured out so that we can take a look at its new benefits. Now on the uh, new feature that I'll refer to as enhanced ownership, because we've always had ownership of documents, what's really been added is the ability to own business partners. And that brings in a whole set of circumstances that we'll try to give you some introduction to today. So here's the agenda that we're going to take a look at. Uh, there are some things that have to be decided in system initialization. The human resources module comes into uh, play here. There are some other authorizations now for data ownership that we'll look at. And then how do we use it both at the business partner level and the sales order level? And when we set up ownership, what really happens to the user experience? Now, one note that I'll give you at this time and won't really talk about, about is that ownership is not yet filtered in sales analysis. So uh, a user who has access to the sales analysis report can still see everyone else's uh, data in the sales analysis report. So uh, what I'm going to do now is, uh, since I want to refer to each one of these things, uh, is to move this particular thing over to my other screen 